Well, Grant, congratulations. Another Ambassador Cruise Line player of the match. A little happier conditions than the first one, though. And, uh, ultimately, a great outcome for the Eagles. Yeah, definitely. Um, probably uh, challenging conditions, probably a bit more challenging than that first game. So, um, to play as well as we did, uh, especially as well as we bowled. Uh, obviously, we didn't get to finish our bowling innings, but the way we bowled up front was really awesome. Again, a very sound top half of the innings from a batting perspective with you and Wes going so well. Then again, we had that fall away. And was there a feel in the camp that you could still do it, that that, that was enough runs, 240? Yeah, for sure. Um, like I say, probably slightly slower wicket this game, obviously third game played on that. So um, more tacky, a little bit slow, took a bit, bit, bit of turn as well. Um, so I would say about par, um, ideally probably 260 plus, you probably feel a little bit more safe. Um, but I think the way the guys responded, the way we feel it in bold um, in, inside those first couple of overs, um, obviously match winning, so that's awesome. I mean, you saw plenty of what the spinners could offer from the, from the Vikings, uh, and then behind the stumps with the gloves on as well, it looked like Aaron Nijar, uh, Luke and Tom were getting plenty of purchase on it. Yeah, plenty of purchase. Like I said, uh, game three pitch, so um, expected that it was probably going to turn. Uh, really good winning of the toss again from Tom. He's in form with the coin, he really isn't he? Is in form. <laughs> um, so that obviously helps. Um, that's obviously a, a win in its own. Um, probably tough to chase down scores um, on that wicket. So really good from us. And yeah, like I say, obviously we use those conditions really well. And just two games left now, of course, on the road. And the Eagles still very much in the mix for one of those, well, they're not quarterfinals, are they? They're playoff spots. I have to get the, the wording right. But incredible how quickly it's changed around, having lost the first two, had a rain out as well. And then suddenly here we go, and we seem to have momentum behind this very young side. That must be crucial now. Yeah, I think uh, you mentioned it. it's uh, all about momentum. These sort of competitions, um, you can sort of time them time them nicely sort of towards the back end of the round robin um, you can sort of play your best cricket and then hit those quarterfinals uh, with like you say that momentum and kick on and you know potentially go all the way so um, that's pretty good from us uh, we've I feel like our cricket's gotten better and better throughout the games as well which is um, like a real plus for us. I mean you're, you're relatively an experienced cricketer in this group Grant but what you've seen of these youngsters, have you seen them grow, develop, even in the course of a fortnight that you've been with the group? Yeah, for sure. Um, obviously, I had the luxury of playing a bit of second team cricket with a lot of them as well. Um, and yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm very, very impressed. Uh, obviously, as a couple of guys who are teenagers as well, and they fit in so well. And I mean, it, it looks like the levels, you know, not too far a stretch for them. Um, so hopefully, they can keep on learning. Uh, and keep on putting performances and I'm sure Essex cricket will uh, be pushed even further. It must be tough on a personal basis to think this has all happened inside of Fortnite. What was it, 12 days ago we played Derbyshire here and here we go all these, you know, these matter of, of two weeks on and, and you're, you're a real prominent player within the Essex Eagles group. Your, your average is terrific. You've had three successive 50s, two Man of the Match awards can you believe how much you've made of this opportunity? Um, yeah, I, I mean, I, I suppose, you know, like as a cricketer, you set a high standard for yourself. So um, it's, uh, not a sh it's not a shock to me, but it is uh, really pleasing that you can come into a group and, and um, it's probably down to them as well. They've made me feel so comfortable and so at home um, in Essex, which is really awesome. Um, and you can kind of come into the group and and just be yourself and relax um, and relax yeah, yeah sure. that's the main thing so it's probably down to them as a group as well and and obviously the management um, allowing me to be myself uh, no real pressure on me just be able to play my own game and yeah the performances obviously then come and I said to you uh, when I first met you about adapting to English conditions so quickly. Of course, it helped with Billericay as well to some extent and with the twos, but you seem to have got everything sorted, very organized in, in your batting performance in particular. 
Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it's uh, again probably down to our prep. Um, again, probably down to management, uh, the way they handle us as players, the information that gets fed to us. Um, and then again, just allowing us to be able to play the way we see it, the way we see fit. Um, so, yeah, I mean, the, the conditions probably haven't been your typical uh, green seeming English no, conditions. No, it's probably fair to say. Probably been a bit more on the dry side um, last couple of games. Um, but again, that's adapting again, different conditions. So, but that's, I suppose, part of the part and parcel of the job. Final question, as I finished when I was interviewing you after the Derby game, have they come up with a nickname yet? Because everybody in this group seems to have a nickname. Surely they've, they've given you some sort of nickname by now. Nothing, nothing too fancy. You got away with it? Nothing fancy. No, yeah, it seems that way. Um, I sort of try and keep to myself in the, in the change room. So that's probably why I'm sure at some stage something will come about. Well, you keep, you keep producing performances like today, and I'm sure there will be a few nicknames around, all of them very positive. Congratulations on another award as the Ambassador Cruise Line Player of the Match. Well done, mate. I appreciate it.